Greetings and salvations to Zoom Fall from there Born, the abyss that slumbers, and you are listening to Eldritch Rants, the show that dares to ask the question, how the hell does my job survive with a bandwidth in the fractions? Jesus Christ. It's terrible. So we're going to be pre-recording this. I'm going to be fixing it on the back end, and then we're going to upload it later. I'm afraid that doesn't mean any live streaming or anybody to interact with the chat, but hey, I haven't been able to look at the chat and run this at the same time. For God knows how long, so we're just cutting out the middleman here. Ah, uh, we got Cabbage Patch Bastard and Farty Von Bumstink. How are you guys doing tonight? Good, thank you, my friend. Yep, very well. All righty. Well, we're going to start out with the usual madness here, and uh, we're just going to go through these topics here. So we do a roundup of the weirdness of the week. We're going to start off with California family baffled by security video of man licking their doorbell button. Now, the part that bothers me, why isn't this in Florida? Yeah, I know what it is. What is this? <laughs> no, no. no, 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 no. It, shut the fuck up! It's window. No, you, no let it's him all. fucking finish his com. His fucking. He didn't even finish his sentence. Oh, it's almost finished exactly until you went question. on your little tirade. So shut the fuck up, Shut Gabby. the fuck up, dickhead. Okay. You shut the fuck up, dickhead. We're all shutting the fuck yeah. up. No, but anyway. Window. Well, well, no, no, no. Um, no, no. Let the fucking. No, 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 no. Let the host finish his fucking. I have a feeling this part's going to get edited out. But anyway, uh, why isn't this Florida? Jesus. Anyway, Man, what's up? Just... What's up, Freddy? What you think? Window liquors devolved. There you go. I have no, no idea, you don't what, care. I have no idea what a window, window liquor is. Uh, I don't even know what well, a window liquor is. It's someone who's evolved from. Uh, someone who's more evolved than licking doorbells. Uh, it's just. Yeah. I'm. I'm <clears throat> Part of me wonders if maybe he's like got the flu or something and he wants to spread it around to as many people as possible, but I, I want to know how many doorbells this guy's been doing it to. I mean, that that's what I want to know. What's what's going on in your head, man? Any rate here, I, I just, you know, uh, actually, California he, he, is he, just going downhill. He actually looks like the lead singer from System of a Down, but anyway. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, fucking hell, he does. <laughs> Yes. You know, now that you're mentioning it, yes, yes, he does. Maybe the Downs version <laughs> really does. of System get of up. Downs. <laughs> Grab a button, liquor, doorbell, something, get up. <laughs> oh, well, moving on here, moving on. Chinese man disabled for life after selling kidney to buy iPhone. I'm sorry, but Apple products weren't that good to but begin be with. Cool. Although he did do this before Steve Jobs died, I believe, so... I mean, back then, Apple wasn't as bad, but still, to lose your kidney mm-hmm. over an iPhone 4, ah, but now he's permanently disabled and dependent on dialysis. I mean, he still had one kidney left. What the hell happened here? There's an app for it. There's an app yeah. for your kidney. Yeah, you got an extra app. Yeah, he, he didn't upgrade. That's the problem. He didn't take the upgrade package. He didn't take. Cons- he didn't. He didn't uh, pay attention to the t- terms of service when he clicked. Um, no, yeah, okay. Don't. Wow, the guy didn't dare tell his parents what he had done, and because it was, I don't know, taken in a back alley somewhere. Maybe it was actually done in an in an in an Apple store. Uh, it wasn't that sterile, <laughs> and it got infected and spread to his other kidney, and now he's on permanent dialysis for the rest of his life, which is not yeah. going to be that much. Wow. But eventually, Apple did give him $320,000 as a settlement for giving up your kidney. I'm surprised Apple didn't use it in, like, their campaign. Like, Apple iPhone, so good, you'll lose your kidney. I don't know. No, maybe maybe, maybe it was polish. a case of, like, he, uh, he, he got the app that said, you know, analyze my colostomy bag. Hang on, I don't have a colostomy bag yet. I oh, know. Maybe he just needed a place to keep his iPhone. That's where he's got that huge scar on the side there. So he <laughs> slide it in there like a, well, like a possum awesome pouch. Oh. Well, he won't drop it that way. Ah, oh, dear God. Well, shit. I, I love this one, though. This is the new Cool Man <laughs> product. Cool Man is an inventive device that stabilizes the temperature of the testicles in the optimum range. In short time, Cool Man significantly improves semen parameters contributing to increased fertility of the pair. Cool men can record data about temperature and time of use as well as types of activity by wirelessly transferring it to the mobile application on the smartphone. That's right, your balls can now be hooked up to the internet. So Apple does have an app for that. Apple does have an app for your balls now. 
<laughs> oh my god, this is just ah uh, yeah, but a beautiful thing there. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. No, well, mate. I mean, you do know they've got you know the same shit with the um, you know dildonics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not yes. Yeah. With... yes. Okay, these are you know suits that you can put on yourself. They got um, like not just sensors, but they've got you know uh, biofeedback. The technology of you know internet sexual experiences. I mean, porn gets there first every time, right? This is the only way that cabbage can really. Reproduce. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, yeah, but I have to send it. You know, yeah, but he's a cabbage. And... He just spreads his seeds everywhere, and then yeah, more of them right. sprouts up. He's like, uh, he's like kudzu. He is the kudzu of of the talk circuit on the internet. Hey, look, kimchi is <laughs> going to take over the world, mate. Kimchi, you'll be eating kimchi before you fucking know what's happening. Kimchi's yummy. Uh, yeah, Koreans absolutely. fucking commit suicide if they can't get kimchi. They do. More yeah, sell the kidneys. Like they they'd they'd sell the kidneys in, for kimchi. In the space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> well. Sell the rifle for kimchi. <laughs> Speaking of kimchi, it has absolutely nothing to do with Ocasio Cortez, who apparently is chastising all of her fellow Democrats as being old fuddy duddies who aren't as progressive as her. And they are basically saying, You want a what now? You want your no, own exploratory are... committee? <laughs> Look, noob. Uh, we do not hand out dude. committees to new people. And she's been saying, hey, I want to be on committees. And they said, uh, you're a noob. You don't get on com- mm-hmm. committees the first time in. And she says, I want a brand new committee just after me and my new green deal thing, whatever the fuck it is. And they said, ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, go wait in the back yeah, of the line. Back of the queue, bitch. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I heard that part of the yeah. problem is when you're a new freshman, they basically turn you into a phone uh, operator where you have to sit on the phones and they have an auto dialer calling for you to get, you know, uh, donations for uh, for your war chest. They basically turn you into a phone operator. So, Apparently... Cortez thinks that she doesn't have to do that, right? Because you know, it's yeah. not something given, right? It's oh yeah, she doesn't bullshit. think there's any work. I've seen the, I've, I've seen like a study on what congressmen, at least the new ones, do, and they're they work their asses off. They work them like mm-hmm. slaves. It's mm-hmm. like the one of, they they would complain. I came to here to pass legislation and do my job, and I don't have time to actually go to Congress. I'm working too <laughs> much trying to raise money. Oh my God! Speaking of the government, ah, uh, government shutdown uh, yeah. sets the longest record in U.S. history. When will it finally end? If we're lucky, <laughs> never. I want the government to stay shut down forever. It would be awesome. Thoughts? Still saying it's one of those things where, at the end of it, like you know, fucking Trump's going to go. Yep. See, we didn't need them for the whole time that we were shut down. We don't need them in the future. They can all fuck off. Uh, every summer and every Christmas, our uh, our uh, government closes down for about two months, six weeks, I think, you know, during summer, so they can go and off and have their lovely, comfortable holidays down in Biarritz or, you know, in, a, a in Morocco. Yeah, well, no, 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 they're going to, they're, they're a lot more high highfalutin than that. But, yeah, Eldridge, um, I'm just saying that, you know, the, the idea that these people can have you know, over three months off a year. And for so, you know, and the government gets closed down. I mean, we even have the closing and opening of parliament, right, <laughs> with all this stuff. So the idea that we're, these people are actually of any sort of relevance, it kind of diminishes when you look at it in, you know, in reality. Because the, chan- the, the times when, you know, things work pretty well and nobody has any problems is the time when the government has fucked off on holiday. Oh, here, there is one immediate effect with people, but I don't think it's going to bother Trump at all. Uh, this upcoming month, everybody's getting double food stamps, if you're on food stamps, because they're not going to have any food stamps for February. And in theory, if everything's resolved before March, they'll start handing out food stamps in March. Uh, but the part of me that's getting here is, oh, no, people who weren't going to vote for Trump aren't getting their food stamps. And this isn't every state. This is us. Our budget sucks so much here. We are so in debt. 
We're second only to to California in fuck. Hey, zombie apocalypse on the. <laughs> yeah, we could go for a zombie. It's gonna apocalypse be. It's here. gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be escape from New York, right? <laughs> Uh, enough on the government shutdown. Please keep it up, Trump, until you win. Here's a problem that only New York State down in New York City is a problem. Um, leave $350 hats at home. New York Middle School administrators begged. Yes, in Great Neck, New York, which is right outside of New York City, the school is begging students to leave their $350 Italian apparel company hats at home because the children keep losing them. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, isn't shit. first world problems. This is arrogant elite <clears throat> problems. Oh no! My on, child they has lost their three hundred fifty dollar hat. Oh, a hat! I thought you said home. Oh, no, hat. It's, it's a three hundred fifty dollar okay. hat that the school is saying. Oh, please leave the three hundred fifty dollar hats at home because you know your kids are losing uh -huh. them because your kids are idiot. Uh -huh. No, that's oppression, mate. You can't oppress people with their hat privileges. Well, well, now, let me guess. On, the hats or the, or the school saying, please don't... I don't stupid. know. I've lost any kind of fucking will to live at this point <laughs> when we start talking <laughs> social justice nonsense. Well, let me uh, guess. The, the, the hats are owned by Spangler and Shinstein and Goldberg and fucking Umstein. No, nah, it's the Jews! It's the, the Jews, Jews. Is the, the Jews. No is Jew buys saying? a. I, I'm Jewish, and no Jew buys a three hundred fifty dollar hat. Okay, we screw the whole point about the Jews garbage. Is they're tight fisted. Yeah, the yeah. three hundred fifty. The whole point oh, about hey, Jews. You spend, what's what's wrong with you? Three hundred. You know what I could buy with three hundred fifty? I could buy a house. I could invest <laughs> in property for three hundred fifty dollars, and I could make a profit. When do people you know? get this retarded? They they think that Jews are just throwing money around. They never have. They never will. I mean, that's the reason that they became the Jews because they're fucking tight fisted for Christ's sake. You know what I could buy with three hundred fifty dollars? It's out of three different fucking death camps. Now shut the fuck up, kid. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you know, you know how many you know, cords of wood I could buy for stuff. those. You know what this? I could buy a lot of cords of wood. This you know, back to Schindler's list. You know what this hat could have? This hat could have saved four people. Four people. This hat alone could have saved four. People. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see that? That is some good memeing potential there. <laughs> oh well, well, here's some good memeing potential here. Moving on, moving on. Oh God, man pleads guilty after alligator threat. Now. Do you think the man is threatening somebody with an alligator or threatening the alligator? The answer is he's threatening somebody with an alligator. Now, you think this would be down in Florida. Again, why isn't this happening in Florida? But no, this is Connecticut. In Connecticut, a man brought a three-foot alligator, put it on top of another person in an attempt to extort money from him, saying, I'm going to feed you to this alligator. And it was all over 800 bucks. It's just eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean, wow. you, you're you're willing to feed somebody to an alligator for eight hundred dollars? I'm just like, there there are people who would pay you eight hundred dollars. Mate, you've got to send a message. Alligator. You've got to hey, send see. a message. Yeah, Make yeah, a hat yeah, out yeah, of yeah. alligator. Make a hat out of no, the yeah. alligator. Well, no, you don't No, no, no. You don't Welsh on your deals, right? I mean, if you're gonna you see, you, you got to send messages to people who are just gonna Welsh on their deals. Yeah, I bet this was a protection racket. Like the guy borrowed the money, and said, no. I'm not going to pay you back. And then he said, Oh, well, here's an alligator. You know? Well, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it, yeah. you got to pay is, That's the one in history because, like, you take an alligator into Connecticut, the damn thing's going to be too cold to do diddly bloody shit, let alone eat something. Yeah, whatever. It makes for a good story, though. But he then I mean, you, the you, to his, his, his wife to get the money. It's like. Here is your husband in an in a in in a bathtub with an alligator on top of him. There you go. You see, the alligator wasn't particularly excitable. I mean, clearly it didn't attack him. It was it was bored and it was tired. So yeah, that, that's that, that that marries in with what you were saying. But, but uh, again, we come to his name. Yeah. His name is Garcia. Another Garcia. Are you seeing a pattern Ooh. here? Garcia uh, likes uh, people uh, with uh, and feed people to uh, alligators. Uh, Again, he is should he be in the Florida. No, the alligator was sitting there going, I heard about this guy, Steve Irwin. Hopefully this guy's going <laughs> to his finger up my cloaca. <laughs> yeah. 
But at any rate, I have the. Uh, it, it may only be January, but I have my nomination for Cuck of the Year. Man tries to earn back wife's trust with horrendous chest tattoo. Apparently, if you mess up in your marriage, trying to win back your partner's trust with an apologetic chest tattoo full of typos is probably not the best idea. A cheating husband apparently learned that the hard way after a photo of his chest tattoo went viral on social media. And my God, I want to know what the blurred out section is. But what, yeah, well, well, so hang on, what he's tattooing what on himself? It, he tattooed this on his chest, starting between his very shriveled nipples. Yeah, yeah, but what, what, what was he tattooing on his chest? I, Jose Torres, am getting a tattoo voluntarily <laughs> on January second, twenty nineteen, so that I can earn my wife's trust back for the pain and suffering I've <laughs> caused in our marriage. I am a liar, cheater, manipulator, deceiver. Something blurred out. Dishonest and respectful. No, he should have shoot himself. He'd be far happier. I, 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 no wife on her right mind would take this man back because of putting a tattoo on yourself. You do it in yeah, hen, is... hente. Hen, hen, no, no. Was it hen, yeah, um, henna? Henna. Henna. henna tattoo. Yeah. That way it fades yeah, I mean, in a couple of weeks. Well, I mean, it's like, you know, you remind your wife every day afterwards, even if she does forgive you because you made this ridiculous fucking gesture. And every day she's reminded of the fact of all the shit you've done in the past. Well, yeah, I mean, fucking, sorry, you fucked you up. Know, Be a man. Rowdy, she's yes. not going to have any respect for yeah. you doing this. But I love this last. No. Dishonest and respectful. Disrespectful. Yeah. No, you see, the thing, the, the thing with tattoos is that, like, the people who get those Asian symbols... You know, and they, they tell you it's like, oh, it means peace and tranquility or it means heaven and earth or all this. You know, you know the, the, the fucker that put it on there, I know it said like, I suck dick or, you know, I love cock or some shit like that. Oh, I've seen the tattoo. I know what you're talking about. There's one where a woman, she, a good girl went to, uh, what was it, China and she wanted a tattoo in Chinese character and she was drunk while she was there. And so the Chinese character translates into... Uh, dumb white whore. I mean, yep, I, mean, like that. <laughs> I mean, it's and I've seen the picture, and it's like, yep, that is indeed what it says. Yeah. Holy but crap. that's the yeah. problem. You see, this is the thing: act in haste, repent at leisure. Right? So that's what tattoos are. Mothers in shock as daughters come home from college with mustaches and breasts removed. Mm. Apparently, what? this isn't mother; it's mothers, plural. Holy Where? crap. Uh, multiple different colors. Why did mothers have, have their mustache? No, no, this Why is the children. Why did mothers have mustaches? This is the children. Like, the well, mothers the are sending their daughters the to, to college. They're going there and they're being asked, what is your preferred pronoun? And then suddenly you get what is known as rapid onset gender dysphoria, where these girls are in college being surrounded by all this liberal progressive propaganda. And then they said, you know what? I want to be a man. And part of their health care is covered at these hospitals, at these, I'm saying these colleges. So what do they do? They start getting the testosterone injections and have their breasts removed. Right, that they are going to internally implode. They, there's nowhere else they can go apart from absolute implosion. There's nothing apart because all they do is just, you know, it's destruction. Everything they want is to destroy something. So they're going to destroy the thing that they create, whereas everyone else can just continue, you know, continue on around them and not have to concern themselves about the lunatic. Yeah, these uh, gender dysphoria exists, loons. but it doesn't happen within your first semester of college. Okay, if you've had a major change and you go to college and then suddenly you decide, hey, I want to be a man. Uh, one, being a man sucks. Why would you want to become a man when you're already a woman? This is a world that privileges women. Seriously, well, you're wish. taking a step down. Being a man means you're treated like shit. Okay, it's, yeah, being a man means you've actually got to be responsible for something. Women don't yeah. have any responsibilities. Yeah, you know I what mean, the funniest part about this is? Is that like in 20 years' time when they realize that they really actually do want kids and want to be a woman and all this kind of shit, and all this shit that's done to themselves precludes them from being fucking parent-giving people, they're just going to shit themselves go, oh, what did I do? It? Oh, I'm depressed. I mean, part of me just wants to talk to these people and say, okay, clearly, like, if you were saying, I've had these feelings since I was eight, I'll be like, 
okay, maybe you do have gender dysphoria, but since you just went to college, you're surrounded by a bunch of progressive morons, and suddenly you want to, you know, cut your breasts off, um, maybe something's going on. You know, maybe you need to step back and, and yeah, reevaluate but... things before you physically mutilate your body. Anyway, let's move on because we're, 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 we're going to be, we're getting stuck in the minute here. And let's move on to uh, more crazy women stuff. Ah, uh, load. Come on, load, damn it. Load, load. Okay, P police. Woman breaks into police station wanting to date cop. And looking at this woman here, I could see why she'd have to hunt down somebody to date. Uh, uh, but moving on here. Wyoming. Police say a woman smashed her way into a closed Pennsylvania office. Uh, police, I'm sorry. Pennsylvania police station looking for an officer. She had been select. I'm sorry. I'm mangling this. Sexually harassing since he arrested her. Yeah, that's right. The 27-year-old Ashley Keister of Nanakoke used a large cigarette butt receptacle to smash glass doors into a West Wyoming police station around 12.45 a.m. trying to find the cop of her dreams. Holy crap. Yeah, I can see why that dude was hiding in a police station. Yeah, I mean, hell, he, he, even the Terminator got some fucking CCTV coverage. Oh, I'm sure there is video. So, it's I, not, I'm, not in the article. I'm with yeah. Cabby. Cops are so fucking such losers and fucking useless fuckwits and all this kind of stuff. And they, they talk about they're just as bad as plumbers and tradies. Oh, dude, I went to this place to fix this woman's pipes. And, like, she came to the door in her nighty and all this. Like, yeah, uh, and, like, yeah, we tag teamed her. Like, Get fucked, asshole. Um, you know, like, cops are like, ah, like, this, this woman, she was after me. She even wrecked our police station. Okay, good. Oh. On you, I see what you're saying here. You're saying that he hit that once, and then after that, she became obsessed with him and started like stalking him. Uh, I don't even think she, he tapped. I don't even think he tapped that. I mean, look, I reckon he pulled the chubby chaser, and they're like, "Hey, dude, like, yeah, that one pull stop I did, you know, like, fucking, yeah, we were in the back of the car, and like, she gave me a blowjob. I'd let her off, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. Get I, I, I'm, off. I'm thinking that might be the case." Because uh, why would you Sounds just, very just, dodgy. If, just because he arrested her, she's stalking him? Nah, there was something else. There was something else going on. Yeah, it's dodgy. This one. It's just kind of weird. Any rate, I uh, briefly want to touch on uh, the Yellow Jacket protests in Paris. Apparently, the Yellow Jacket protests are scaring off the tourists. Who would have thought? I mean, you get it. Uh, apparently, it's affecting tourism in Paris. Uh, I think the fact no that it's a shithole is probably affecting it more. Did, there was that explosion last night. There was a car bombing. Uh, they, no. I haven't gotten a lot no, of no. details on that. We don't know exactly what it's about yet. I do. Yep. Oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. That was a gas leak in a bakery. Completely normal. Abnormal. Oh, really? It wasn't uh, Paris uh, or yeah, anything no, no. related? No, 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 no. Gas leak in a bakery. That's all. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, was that a Muslim bakery? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. He got injured, well, by a... A croissant. Oh. Yeah, a croissant oh, injuries. Oh, <laughs> Killed by an exploding croissant. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bun attack. It was like... <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Exploding croissant. It was a, a, it a, was a volley of croissants. Ah, oh, well. It I, took I, down the street. Ah, oh, well, I'm, I'm wondering know. if no, Paris no, no, is ever going to no. attack again. A whole together. bunch of fucking pens. No, a whole <laughs> bunch of fucking pens flew out of there. They're all marked Charlie Hepto. Boo. Ouch. <laughs> ah, well. Um, I hope the yellow vest protesters win, but I don't know. Paris is just screwed in general, so. Oh, it's France. Who cares? This one's for you, Farty. Volunteer firefighter accused of setting houses on fire because he was bored. Yes, from out of Pennsylvania, there was a 19-year-old volunteer firefighter who was charged with arson because, well, he got bored, so he sent two different houses on fire. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to make a job for yourself. You know, nah, that's, just that, that's actually an unfortunate yeah, but... part about the service is that, like, your arsonists do... 
people light their own fires and a lot of them do try to join professional fire services. And in the areas that they can or they can't, they do join the volunteer services. We have a bit of a plague out here with the same thing there with the New South Wales Rural Fire Service. Quite a few people who get caught for lighting big bushfires. Yeah, sometimes the rural fire service members. It kind of happens. Yeah. I... You know, Dexter, he works in the criminal department, you know, but he, he was a criminal case, wasn't he, Dexter? But see, yeah, that's where I throw this back at the, um, <laughs> the, the, the people in charge of the place because they don't actually go ahead and, you know, psychoanalyze people to the point where they figure out, well, okay, are you a pyromaniac? No, you shouldn't join us because the professional services have already done that and then told them to fuck off. You do, don't you? Oh, have psychometric yeah. tests. No, 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 no. To join the rural fire service, I just rocked up at the station with my mate and we just went, we'd like to join. Three months of a probationary um, thing. Then we went and did our courses and six months later, we're fighting fires. Awesome. The only the only thing they were really worried about was like the, the probationary period was to see if everybody else in the brigade thought we were fuckwits or not. Ah, uh, well, I mean, however, Germany's worse because in Germany last year they had three different firefighters who were accused of being arsonists. So, you know, at least yeah. at least we've only had one so far for last year. But <laughs> we're yeah, I think well, yeah, but but so okay. firefighters down to a minimum. Yeah, but. Well, Eldridge, I mean, you know, when you look at all of the West Coast, I mean, everything's been in flames, hasn't it, recently? Well, that's because everything of lasers be from airplanes, apparently. Uh, oh, know. right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Their sorry, I forgot about that. Airplanes just flying around <laughs> setting it off. Although, to be honest, is there any, if I was a terrorist... Is there anything I'd left to burn anything. in California? California? Is there anything left to burn in California? Uh, not much, but, well, apparently they've burned yeah, all the forests, and now they're burning people's houses, but... I'm sorry, the okay, problem with sorry. California is, is you've run out of money because you've mismanaged everything so much and you don't have any preventative fire services out there anymore. That's the real reason why everything's burning. They, they, okay, yeah, just, you don't, just you, you don't clear the brush. What do you expect? Just to bring something up about something I said about a month or so ago, um, Eldridge. Um, have they refined the body count yet, or are they just still being ambiguous about it? Oh, they're still being ambiguous about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. what happened to that? That's, the numbers that's, be that, that... that's because that's because it's stupid high. That's why. What was that? I yeah, the numbers. Looked into I mean, they it, should know right, the. Um... They will not. They will not reveal anything. California will not. Well, talk Eldridge. About it. Eldridge. Yep. I mean, surely they must know now. The. Um... You know, the numbers for, what was it, Pleasantville or Happyville or somewhere? There yeah, was a particular like town. Oh, I'm sure they know the completely numbers, but fucking level. finding it's a bitch. I, I can't get no, any figures They haven't released them. Like, wow. California just isn't talking about it. It's in the thousands. And, yeah, it's it's probably no, it's high, it. but California's... I mean, California's, like, become, like, I don't know, like like, communist Russia. I mean, seriously, they, they are like freaking commies in every respect. They're, they they will not they will not reveal any information anymore. You can't get anything. Yeah, I told I told you that a month or so ago. Yep, yeah. that's what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, no, I assume it's, it's out it's there somewhere. Right. They probably released yeah, but it was it it, yeah. on a post-it it, note it, on it, a billboard somewhere. It's not a new thing. This has been happening since you know. The 1960s, you know, and Janis Joplin and... No, nah, if, if, if it was only about 100 people, that they'd, they'd say it's about 100 people. No, we're talking about thousands. Yeah, they they, they I, got that, to a certain difference. number, said we don't know anymore, and every time, I, I can't find it. I mean, maybe it's out there and I'm just missing it and my Google foo isn't strong, but yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, California yeah, but that, like... Really tight-lipped about the death toll. That Pleasantville place, though, I mean, that was a very specific place. And it was, I mean, yeah. when you saw it, it just it's looked wiped like... Off. It's it wiped off the, the face of the map. It was, and from just what gone. I've heard, the way the fire hit the place, because people were taking it very seriously, it probably got a great deal of people just trapped in there. Like, and then the ring of well, fire was around. Yeah. 
See, that, mm-hmm. that's a term that we use out here. Wiped off the face of the map means basically there's only maybe two or three houses left out of about 300. But this is the, like, you know, Eldridge, this is the thing. You know, you, you, you invest $5 million into some program, and um, there are so many administrators and, mm-hmm. you know, uh, yeah. health and safety officers that yeah. sit at the top, and everyone else takes their money. And then Green. basically out of $5 million, you end up with a fire extinguisher. You know, like that's the actual oh, it's last. The, it's the same that, thing. That, that that, that's actually why you got. But they'll tell you how wonderful it is that they managed to achieve no, we, this fire extinguisher. Well, with, with, with what with what El, um, Cabot just said, uh, out here it's more of a thing of like you'll have the paid RFS members, the rural fire service members. They'll go out and they'll, they'll mark out a place that needs to be burnt. They'll go ahead, they'll do their mitigation, they'll do the environmental impact statement, and then they'll do other reports and they'll they'll determine exactly how big the danger is and what it should be mitigated. Then the environmental impact statement will go to the mm-hmm. greenies. And mm-hmm. the greenies will go, Oh, well, we'll sit on this for a week or two and then yeah, but there's a new there's a new we may let you do it. We may, and then four weeks later, they come back and say, "Yeah, okay, we, we said you can do it." And then, by that stage, the volunteers are off doing other things. You don't have the resources to go and do that burn. The fire trucks are in their stations, and no can command them. Oh well, we've got to put it off and then do it again sometime later because the fuckwit, fuckwit, greeny cocksuck and fucking. Faggot, fuck, asshole, cunts <laughs> decided they were going to sit on it for two goddamn weeks. And then the next year, when you have a 35-degree day, the fire goes through the place like it wasn't burnt for 20 years, and then it starts taking out cunts' houses, and the grinnies are like, please don't blame us. Please, please don't blame us. We didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you fucking did. Well, the now, well my point was that... more about the finances. Well, the difference between that and California is in California, the the greenies, as you call them, uh, don't bother to say don't blame us because they're already pointing at somebody else and saying it's their fault. I mean, yeah, it's, well, it's the, it's the you don't have are the problem in California. They really are. Yes, but you see, Eldridge, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but the, the main reason that they can get away with that is because they say, well, look how much money we threw at this thing. Okay, they don't really give a shit about what product, you know, what product came out of it, right? The idea that nothing actually productive came. They they threw $20 million at something. Great. So you threw $20 million at it. What did it produce? Nothing. You know, an an, an abject failure. And so they say, yeah, but we threw this money at it. It's money laundering. You know, that's all it is. It's money laundering. No. No, 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 no. I know for a fact in California you don't do things like hazard reductions. You don't go through during the winter time and start burning out the undergrowth and doing low-intensity fires to get no, rid of the fuel to. loading on the ground. They, they don't to. do it anymore. No, I know for a fact they don't do it anymore. I know Honestly, they don't now. I say they used to. I said used Honestly, to. See? Yeah, not, not for like 20 years. Like, no shit. Like, it's that bad. Back when the Republicans were still in control. <laughs> I mean, like, it was, it was, I think it was like about 10 years ago, you had Australian firefighters going over there, abs- like, literally blowing, like, uh, fire trails, like, literally using explosives to blast trees out of the road and fucking using explosives to blast fire yeah, trails. Well, yeah, making, um, you know, fire breaks and stuff, which is... Like, we don't possible. even do that in Australia. We don't even use the fucking explosives in Australia to do that shit. That's how bad it was in fucking California. Just get a couple of drop bears to do it for you. You know how it works. Anyway, anything you wanted to bring up, Cabbage? Um, No, not particularly, mate. I was interested in, you know, the topics you had. Well, we're going to get it off here, and then I'm going to re-edit it and clean it up a bit, and then we're going to upload it now. (laughs) Good luck. It's been real, and it's been fun. Uh, It's been kind of fun. Glad that uh, yeah. Cabbage can come by yeah, for a change. Um, any last words before we wrap this up? Nothing? Mm, no. No, sir. Boobies. I'm at a loss.